Now let's go, baby. Good morning. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Definitely want to start the day with some gratitude, thanking the Lord for the blessings that we receive, and thanking Him for another beautiful day. So let's go, people. It's work, 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 work Wednesday. Let's turn it up. And it is Wednesday, February 1st. Let's rock and roll. Hope you guys had a great week as well as a great January and beginning of 2023. Now, the wonderful thing about life is that we get a brand new day. God, Lord willing, Lord willing, we get a brand new day. If you're watching this video, we got a brand new day today. And so it's time to show up. It's time to show up and continue to work on your crafts, your gifts, your talents. I, I, I once heard uh, a phrase that talked about, it's better to focus on what we're great at and make it better and make it outstanding than trying to fix what we're weak at. It's, it's our power, right? It's our secret power. It's our, it's, our, it's our special gifts and things that we were given. And so where is it in our life that we're allowing those things to stay the way they are, right? Those gifts and those talents. Where in our life? Can we, can we pick one or two things or maybe five or six things? Like who, who knows, right? You know. You know what you're good at. And maybe your occupation doesn't allow you or you don't allow your occupation to, uh, to utilize those skills. It is a choice. And we can find things outside of what we do on a day-to-day -day basis to be able to really emphasize that gifts and that and, and those talents. And let's not leave those let's not leave those dormant, guys. Let's turn that up. But that's our choice, right? We can leave that dormant or we can turn it up. I had a great conversation with a young man yesterday who was having a hard time being himself. Being himself. He asked a question about, you know being himself and, and finding that difficult at times, you know, because of self-judgment, really, you know, and, and really how the world perceives him. And so I told him, I said, listen, first of all, God loves you the way you are and he knows you the way you are. So you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> what you got to do is you got to fill that void of whatever um, doubt and disbelief that you have and then work on it. Detach yourself from the outcome. See, the great thing about life, again, is that it will show us opportunities of growth and, 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 uh, and development. It will. That, that, that's irrelevant. <laughs> I mean, not irrelevant. That's, um, that's out of our hands. You know, that's, that's up to life to do that. But our job is to take those opportunities and make them our own and push ourselves forward, even when it feels uncomfortable, even when it feels like you're not making progress. You are. <laughs> Trust me, you are. And it's maybe what we're measuring or what we're calculating that's holding us back from really moving forward. Does that make sense? So let's go, people. Work Wednesday. I love you guys. Let's crush it. It's hump day. Let's rock and roll, guys. Peace.